Now in this video, we're gonna look at a circuit where we take an LM355 op amp here, one of the two on the integrated circuit, and we split 10 volts. So we're gonna put ground in the middle of that 10 volts, and in relationship to ground, we're gonna have a positive five volts and a negative five volts. Now the main reason why I'm making some videos on the dual supply which we are splitting here, we're splitting a single supply, is that a lot of material for op amps involves uh, dual supply op amps. And so knowing how to uh, simulate that will be helpful in understanding that material. But also there's a really cool thing about having a dual supply. So here we have a polarity indicator using a couple LEDs. I'm gonna color code them right there, right up there and blue down there. So you can see here, if we go to the plus five volts, so remember this is zero volts, this is ground now, we declare that ground, instead of the negative side of a power supply. Ground is the halfway point now. So we go up here, this is more positive, and normally we follow current more positive to more negative, and it has to go through the red LED, because the anode is more positive, cathode's more negative, so it will light up, it can't go through the blue LED. So we'll know when we touch the positive supply, that, that we did because the red LED will be lit up. Now the blue LED, so imagine moving the switch over here. I'm just gonna use a jumper to go from one rail to the other. But now we move the switch, jumper, whatever you're using to the negative five volts. So again, this is zero volts, that's a negative five volts. So that's five volts higher there, even though it's zero volts. And so current's gonna flow through the blue LED and then down to negative five volts. Remember we moved the switch there. So that will be the connection. So it's really easy to alternate. It's not really alternating through the LEDs, but it is through that wiring and that resistor uh, direction. So let's look quickly at the circuitry. So this is a voltage follower. We're taking 10 volts and we're using a couple of 10 kilo ohm resistors here wired as a voltage divider. So this middle point here is five volts, but it's half of the supply voltage. That's the main thing. So technically we're getting five volts there, where uh, as this is five volts lower, zero volts, and that's five volts higher, 10 volts. But we're just uh, swapping the numbers around. So zero volts plus five, negative five. And the way that it outputs that voltage is thanks to negative feedback. So remember, the op amp looks at the voltage at these two inputs there. So non-inverting and inverting. When you have the feedback there, the output raises or lowers as needed so that the inverting input becomes the same voltage as the non-inverting input. And that brings us to the board. So pin number four over here goes one, two, three, four. That is ground, depending on what data sheet you look at. Some say ground, some say VEE, some have AV minus right there. So this uh, LM358 is a single supply op amp but it's also used as a dual supply op amp. Works perfectly fine uh, as a dual supply op amp. So each data sheet might show something different. That's why I added in blue what you might see. And then VCC is the positive side of the power supply, the uh, V plus right there. And uh, you can see we got that up to uh, pin number eight right there. You should be able to see that. So in any case, we're only using the op amp on the right there. So we got our output, pin seven, our inverting input, pin six, and then our non-inverting input. So there you can see our voltage divider to get us half of the power supply voltage to the non-inverting input right there. And again, when you got that feedback going right from the output to the inverting input, it does what it can to give you the exact same voltage that you got there. So it's half the power supply voltage. And then we re-labeled now, that's positive five volts, zero volts at the output, and then we got the uh, negative five volts there. The resistor is up here. I got that little jumper going from the output to the uh, bottom of the LEDs there. The red LED, we want it to light up when the jumper goes to the positive supply there. So longer lead, the anode, going to the row the resistor is in. Shorter lead, the cathode, going to that jumper that goes to ground, the output. Blue LED in the opposite direction. We want that to light up when the uh, jumper is to the negative rail. And uh, so shorter lead, the cathode, going to the resistor. Longer lead, the anode, going to the output and we will do our uh, test. Hopefully that all made sense because I'm done explaining now. So there you go, positive supply, red LED. Now we're only getting five volts even though it's a 10 volt power supply. 
So 220 ohm resistor is about the minimum you want to use. You can go higher. But there you can see the red LED is not terribly bright. I can uh, dim the overhead light. Uh, but it's going plenty fine. And then the blue LED is a lot brighter. So that's the lower light. We're going to go higher light. Blue LED actually has less current going through it. It's just naturally brighter. So there you can see. We're alternating the direction of the current by deciding which side of the uh, power supply we connect to. So in any case, that's really it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I posted in the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But watching videos helps out a ton. I appreciate when you watch the videos. I will see you in the next video.